In this video, we're going to have a look at powers and roots of decimal fractions. For powers, we are going to focus on squares and cubes. And it still helps if you know the basic squares and basic cubes by heart. In the first example, I'm going to show you how we can approach this using common fractions. So firstly, I'm going to rewrite 0, 0,2 as 2 tenths. So to square this, I'm going to square my numerator and 2 times 2 is 4 and also square the denominator and 10 times 10 is 100. And finally, I can rewrite as a decimal fraction. Here I have 4 hundredths, which means 2 decimals, so 0, 0,04. You can choose to always first rewrite as a common fraction or you can try and see the shortcut. Can you see that because we squared in this case, our number of decimals, which was 1, has doubled to 2 decimals because 10 changed to 100. So in this case, you could choose to immediately write down the answer by squaring 2 to get 4 and then doubling the number of decimals to 2 decimals and that is why we'll have 0, 0,04. I'm going to do the next example using the shortcut. So here I start by focusing on 4 and squaring that to get 16. Next, I take the number of decimal places, which is 2, and double that to get 4 decimal places. So even though we know the value should have 16 in it, we need 4 decimal places, so we need to add two zeros in front, so our answer will be 0, 0,0016. In example 3, we have minus 1,2. And I'm going to use that 1,2 as 12 and square it to get 144. My number of decimals is 1, which will double to 2. So because our value at the moment is 144 and we need 2 decimals, it will be 1 comma 4, 4. Also now remember to square the minus in front. A minus times a minus is a plus, but of course it's not necessary to indicate a positive value. When it comes to cubes, you can once again choose to first rewrite as a common fraction and then calculating the cube of that fraction. 3 cubed is 27, and 10 cubed is 1,000, which means as a decimal we have 0, 0,027. But once again, you can choose to use the shortcut and see that our one decimal place that we started with has tripled to three decimal places. So in the next example, I'm going to choose to immediately write down the answer. I'm going to start off taking my minus and cubing that, which will give me a minus again. Next, I'm going to get the cube of 5, which is 125. The original two decimal places that I had will now triple and become 6. So the 125 will be the last three decimals, which means we still need to add three zeros in front. When it comes to square and cube roots, I can once again decide to firstly rewrite as a common fraction, and this will be 4 hundredths. Now I can calculate the square root of 4 and that of 100, and rewrite this as a decimal fraction. And once again, I can see a shortcut. The original number of decimals, when squaring, will be halved. In the answer. So in example 2 I can start off focusing on 49 square root which will be 7. Now the number of decimals which is 2 at the moment will be halved to one decimal and of course then 7 will be that decimal so my answer is 0 comma 7. In example 3 I'm going to start off determining the square root of 36, which is 6. 
the number of decimals here is four decimals, which will now be halved to two decimals, of which six will be the second one. Therefore, I need to add a decimal in front to get the answer of 0, 006. After all the examples, you should be able to guess what happens with a cube root. But let's start off rewriting it as a common fraction of 27 over 1000. The cube root of 27 is 3 and that of 1000 is 10. So my decimal fraction is 0, 3. Here you can see that our number of decimals has been divided by 3 to end with only one decimal. In example 5, we now have the cube root of a negative value, and you should know by now that the cube root of a minus will be negative again. The square root of a negative value will be non-real. Here we need to get the cube root of 125, which is 5. Next, we have a look at the original number of decimals, which is 6, and if we take a third of that, we only need two decimals in our answer, meaning we need to add a decimal and our final answer will be minus 0, 0,05. The last six videos showed you all the basic calculations for decimal fractions. Now you need to go and practice addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers and roots in mixed calculations.